COVID is the persistence of signs and symptoms associated with COVID-19 after more than four weeks from the acute illness. There are many different names that have been used when individuals have symptoms that persist, which include long COVID, long haulers, chronic COVID-19, post-COVID-19 condition or syndrome, and post-acute sequelae of SARS-CoV-2 infection or PASC. There's currently no internationally accepted definition of long COVID. However, the CDC in the United States describes post-COVID-19 conditions as a wide range of new, returning or ongoing health problems people can experience for four more weeks after SARS-CoV-2 infection. So no one really knows what causes long COVID. There are many doctors and scientists around the world trying to understand what is the reason behind long COVID. And it's presently believed that as many as one in 10 people who become ill with COVID-19 have not fully recovered. It is thought that ongoing symptoms or the development of new symptoms after the initial illness may be due to the damage that occurred in the body when patients first became ill with COVID-19. Patients who become ill with COVID-19 may have damaged their lungs, brain, heart, and other organs in their body that may have affected them too which can result in a variety of symptoms. Long COVID may be the result of damage caused by the body's own immune system to the virus during the initial illness, as well as damage caused by the virus itself. However, there's not enough evidence now and we not fully understand the reason behind people getting long COVID. Currently, there's no way to test the patient for long COVID, and the diagnosis of long COVID should only be made by a doctor or nurse after a thorough history or examination to exclude other causes of these symptoms. Patients who can be considered to have long COVID are those who are diagnosed with COVID-19 by means of a positive COVID-19 test, who have ongoing symptoms for four more weeks after acute illness that cannot be better explained by another diagnosis, or patients who have had new or persistent symptoms after they had a COVID-like illness, even if they had not tested positive for COVID-19, may be considered provided any other potential causes have been excluded. There are many different viruses or infections that can cause symptoms similar to COVID-19 and long COVID, so it is important to look out for other conditions before making this diagnosis. Patients who experience symptoms for four to six weeks after the acute initial infection should follow up with their nearest doctor. This can be a family doctor or a GP. If you experience severe chest pain or shortness of breath or discomfort in your chest, you should follow up with the doctor as soon as possible. And depending on your symptoms, you may need tests. This will help your doctor better understand what is causing the symptoms and whether you need treatment, as well as guide them whether you need specialist referral or further investigations. The only way to avoid long COVID is to avoid getting COVID-19 in the first place. It is true that most people who are infected will not get very sick, but it is impossible to know who will recover quickly and who will have persistent symptoms. The best way to prevent COVID-19 is to be vaccinated. In addition to protecting yourself, getting the vaccine will also help protect other people, including those who are at higher risk of getting sick or even dying. Vaccination does not worsen long COVID symptoms, and a small study has suggested that vaccination may even lead to a small improvement in some symptoms, as well as preventing long COVID in the first place. People who are still waiting to be vaccinated can lower their risk through social distancing, wearing face masks in public, and washing their hands often. There are many patients in South Africa and across the world who are still suffering from symptoms many weeks and months after their initial infection. So look out for your local support groups. Facebook has lots of them online, and we are working with some of these support groups to provide information to members of the public to help them in times of desperation. Music